Today we have another Infusionsoft basic training video on how to add a quote and send an invoice out to a customer that gives them the ability to pay that invoice online. So for this, I'm gonna assume that you already have your merchant account connected to your Infusionsoft account and you have the product that you're invoicing for, quoting for, already set up in your account. And as usual, if you don't have any of that set up yet, Follow the links in the description for details on other videos where I go into detail on creating products and connecting your merchant account. So for this, the simple process is pull up the contact record, create the invoice, which will email the customer. The customer can click an email, which will look something like this. And once they click on it, they'll see a page that looks like this. They can accept the quote and immediately be taken to a page to pay that invoice online. So to show you the entire process, we'll come into Infusionsoft and we'll come into the contacts record, record and it will bring up this search field here. So let's just search and we'll bring up a record of a test account that I have here in as a contact record within Infusionsoft. So there's two ways to get to the quote field. And the first one is by hovering over or clicking on the dollar sign here. And you can see that it'll drop down recent quotes as well as recent orders. So if you wanna add a quote, this is the first way that you would do it. Just simply click on this add quote and the create a quote wizard will pop up. And all you need to do is just start typing in the name of the product that you wanna create the quote for and it will auto suggest. You can click on it and then it will pre-populate. You can change the, the quantity. So if you wanna change this to two, it'll automatically update. The shipping and discount is automatically pulled from the e-commerce setup tab when you set up the product. So right now at the time of this video, the only way that you can add products to an invoice or to a, to a quote rather, is to have them listed as products in your Infusionsoft account already. So there's no, uh, there's no quotes on the fly where you can just type in a, a product here or a service or anything. You have to add it as a product first. And I mentioned that there's other videos that I have where I go into detail on product creation, but just to show you real, very quickly, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to pull that up in just a second and then I'll come back to the second way that we can create this quote and we'll continue the whole process. So you'll hover over the Infusionsoft icon, come over to e-commerce setup and click, and then you'll come into the products tab, click, and you can see that you, I have products listed right here and to add a product, you just very simply click here and name your product here and then go through the basic setup wizard. So once you go through that, uh, the, the product will be listed here. And as you can see, I have, uh, just for example, a Verifone uh, VX520 terminal, credit card terminal listed as one of the products. So we'll come back over and that's what we're gonna create the quote for. This is just a sample of what it'll look like. So the second way to get in and create the quote is to, again, search for the, the record, the person that you wanna send the quote to, click on their name and it'll bring up that contacts record. And you scroll about halfway down and you'll see a sub menu right here and you'll click on orders. And all of the orders that this record has paid will show up right here. So there's there's recent quotes, there's recent orders and subscription plans, and there's a lot of data here for everything that's connected to your merchant account, including card numbers and that sort of thing. So let's come back to the record and let's come down to the orders tab again and create a new quote to show you this process. So you just simply click on add a quote and the box comes up and you just start typing in your products again which are already loaded and you can change the quantity so let's just make it two and that'll auto upload and then let's add another credit card terminal and then finally let's do a subscription service just so there's a couple of uh, products on here and we'll auto click and there we go so you can preview it by clicking make sure everything's on there the order total is correct and this is the actual page that your customer is going to see once it's emailed to them, they're going to be able to click on it and uh, they'll come to this page. So the way that you send this out, you can send this email is just by clicking continue. You can obviously we just previewed, you can save the draft. If you want to go ahead and send it, you click here and then you have the three options to send with no payment send and allow payment later, which you would come in and then manually charge the, for the, the uh, service or the product and then send the quote and require payment online. If you have your merchant account set up 
with Infusionsoft. And again, I have other videos that I'll link below to show you how to get that connected. And if you have the ability to take the payment online, I would always select this one because if the customer accepts the quote and they're ready to get started, give them the ability to immediately pay. It's always best practice and you can get the project started sooner than later. So I'll always select that one, send quote and require payment online. This is, then the email is referenced from default text that I've filled out in the e-commerce quotes and invoices section. So you can add additional text to either of these text fields if you would like. And then once you have it ready, you can just click send. And then that's gonna add that invoice to the quotes records within this particular contact record. Infusionsoft will send the email out and this is what the email looks like that your customer will get. So you have your standard text and then any additional text that you'd wanna add up here over there. And all your customer will do is view the quote. They can come in here, make sure everything looks good and they're being charged for the products. And when you attach a payment form uh, or the payment option to a quote, it will give them this proceed button as opposed to a quote that has no payment option attached to it like this one where it'll just say accept. So if they accept this one, that just gives you notification that they're good to go and then you have to come back and collect payment some other way. But with a quote like this, they can click proceed and I'll go ahead and do that. And then it immediately takes them to a payment page here that, that they can fill out and then click submit. So all of, this is a live payment page that's hosted by Infusionsoft and this payment is gonna come through your merchant account that you have set as your standard default merchant account within uh, on the inside of your Infusionsoft account. So if you wanna modify or adjust the standard default text that goes along with all of your invoices and your quotes, you can hover over the Infusionsoft icon, come over to the settings tab under e-commerce and then uh, click on quotes and invoices. And what that'll do is give you the ability to modify this. You have default email body and you can click here and see the examples. And it just shows you a little screenshot of what each section is gonna look like. So you can, you can type these and make them whatever you would like them to. So here's the one for invoices, which is post payment. That's just a, a PDF or a record that's sent out after a payment's made. And then the one that we're looking at right now is the quotes. So you have your email address, uh, your quote, your invoice information, uh, terms and conditions link, and every anything that you wanna customize uh, for all of your quotes, and then you can just click save. One additional note is that when your invoice is accepted, of course Infusionsoft is gonna send you a note saying that your in your quote or your um, your quote was accepted or your order was accepted and the payment was made. So this is an invoice for a, a quote that has been accepted. And this is for an order that was accepted or a quote that was accepted, but a payment still needs to be applied. So again, if you need to apply a payment inside of the contact record, you have open invoices or, or maybe some that have been accepted and, and maybe some are, are paid already. But if you wanna apply a payment to one of these orders, you can click on the view order tab and this screen will load. And if you scroll down to the bottom, it will give you the, uh, again, all the details of that particular order. And you just wanna click on add a payment for the balance due and, it, and this light box will pop up and again, when you have a contact record stored with, and somebody has paid you, Infusionsoft makes a note of that or record and they save that credit card number in association with that contact record. And you can simply click here and it'll apply the payment to that invoice. So this would be how you would manually apply payments to invoices if you're not making it a requirement to accept payment immediately at the time of accepting the quote. So if you're sending a lot of custom quotes, this is the process that you're gonna use. So you can add this payment page option to all of your workflows, just like the standard product order forms that I've covered in other videos. If you're interested in more payment automation and making quotes and invoices and, and pages like this that are already part of a software tool like Infusionsoft and you wanna make that part of your marketing workflow, be sure to hit the subscribe button because I publish tutorials and uh, informational videos on the topics of merchant accounts, 
payment page builders and software tools like Infusionsoft and also workflows that tie all of these tools together. All of the references in this video are linked in the description. So if you have questions, be sure to check those out. And again, I publish weekly videos on the process of collecting payments and getting paid and making that process fast, simple, and efficient. I'm Brian Manning, and I'll talk to you soon.